got a little treat for you. This, <laughs> I just brought the dog out for a walk. Um, I weren't expecting to do a video quite so soon. But taking the dog out for a walk in my village where I've lived for years on and off. I grew up here as a child and this, this tractor has been doing the rounds here for years. I remember when I was a teenager, me and my mates used to sit on the bench down here and watch this one. But it's a lovely Leyland. It's been on the cover of Classic Tractor a couple of times. I think three times it's been in the magazine. It's definitely been on the cover at least once. It's a fantastic machine. It's really well looked after. Come on. This is Sumo, my dog. Come on. I'm actually going to... Hopefully, there's somebody said they're coming to look at my placements this morning. So I've got to go over there. And uh, obviously it starts and I'm not worried about that, but I just want to just make sure everything's all right for, for him to come and look at it. So hopefully that will be a sad day to it when it goes, but it's just got a nice space, so it's got to go that one. I love these old things, they're good aren't they? I've, I've seen you cut, I've seen you cut in here for, oh years now, 25 years or so. Oh is it, what with this tractor? With this tractor? Yeah, okay, I'll come and speak to you. Oh okay, yeah. Say so what? What's your name? Noel Cooper. Noel Cooper. Yeah. So I'm Richard Burnham. I've met people who, who actually, I've people who know you and stuff. I, I, there was a bloke who come up to. I work at Favino at the minute. Up at the chicken sheds. Yeah. And so there's a lad up there who makes exhaust, and somebody was asking him about maybe making an exhaust for this. But I've got my own. I've got my own YouTube channel. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, yeah. That that I um, sort of put videos up of. Mainly old combines, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, I've got. Five old combines. I mean, there's hopefully somebody coming to buy one today. I've got a case M135 that I'm selling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I've got. I'll show you in a minute. When I just is it alright to have? Do you mind me videoing around it? No, no, no. Because no, no. I've seen I've seen this on the cover of Classic Tractor. That's it. That's yeah, because they were that impressed with it. And I've always noticed. I remember even like going back a number of years. I used to. As I wasn't born into farming or nothing, and I just sort of took an interest in. Yeah. I would say mainly combines, combines predominantly because they're yeah. rare. And, you know, a lot of people have got old tractors, but how many people do you know have got an old combine? Very few, very yeah. few. Yeah, and, um, but I used to notice this kicking about and I'd be like, that's a tidy, <laughs> tidy. I mean, what year is this, 74? 1980. Oh, right, 1980. I had it, had it new, um, bought it from Burgess in Brackley, yeah. 7,750. How much? 7,750. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Oh wow, is it four wheel drive? No, no, it's only two wheel drive. The, um, Those tyres, they help stop the thorns. Right, yes, okay. And uh, it's also got something else that we've never see. It's got thorn guards in three of the wheels, not this one, because this one's got ballast in. Right. But the rest of them have got thorn guards in, which are Kevlar, um, and they fit round the tread. Sumo, stop it. A thorn will never go through. Right. Um, I was talking to a chap yesterday actually and he wanted to know a bit about it and uh, he said well I've never heard of those things. No. Do you know what? When I, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I could. 
But the um, do you, I take it you remember um, Richard Bywater? All oh, right, was he working there then? Because do you know what I um, when I I I th yeah I was at school and I I never I wouldn't I didn't really I weren't really fussed about school really, but um, I had long hair and smoking and all that sort of stuff in the lunch break and meeting my mates in the lunch break. But because I did my work uh, what's it called work experience when I was at school, I had a week's work experience and like. There was only two things I ever got awarded for at school, and, and that was one of them. I got the best because I went to a place where I was interested. So they had a class dominator combine at the back, and I said, oh, I've got nothing to do. I'll go and clean the cab out. I went and cleaned the cab in it because I liked being around them. And uh, whereas at school, there was never anything that there was never anything that interested me. I just it, they didn't present it in a way that was any interest to me. When we, we used to farm at Lower Boddington, I mean, you know where that is. Yeah, oh yeah. Simo, will you just like stand well, still there, for a minute? We've been there for 312 years, the family. All oh, right. And when it came to my dad got middling health and he said, Was I going to carry on? And I said, No. Oh, well, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to contract it. Right. Simo, well, stay still. Looking back. Sit down. We've got, sit. We've still got sit. horses on the farm sit. in those days. I'm going back to sit. Sit. Mate. We've still got two horses. And the, the dad was horseman. I was, I was the boy, I'd been put on the tractors. So what I'm getting at is, people in my age, we got tractors. Right. We'd been on, the first time I was on the own, I'm late. Right. On the own, in a big field. Yeah. So I've, I've been on tractors 78. Right. I'm 85 now, believe it or not. Should be the 80. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, you enjoy doing it. I do we, enjoy doing we, it. We, you see, for me as well, I, from the, what, I remember my grandpa, my mum's parents, I never met my dad's parents, because they died before, well, I died when I was little. And, um, but my mum, my mum's parents didn't do anything. They just used, to, and actually my parents are now probably older than they were when they died. But my parents live an active life, whereas they didn't. And I think the more active you are, the, the better... Well, I just had because I do the head streaming all around here. You've seen me. Yeah, yeah, all over, yeah. <coughs> well, I've been at home for <coughs> two months. And I get bored out of my brain. Oh, yeah. And this job, I was going to pack this up because there's a, there's a new regime taking over. It's all health and safety. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I don't want to get involved in. Um, oh, just, yeah. I'm going to take a um, <laughs> um, But anyway, they got me out of, off the staff loop again and got me going again. Right. And, um, you know, I'll do a year, a year or two for them. But yeah. I, they take me off to Welsh Lane, they got another chap doing that, that's got a hellish brizzy. Right, here. yeah, yeah. Dangerous, dangerous. See, no. And I used to go right out to Daventry at it. Right. And that was getting a fair way out. Um, but I do sort of call the safe now, the spot men and all that. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like well, that's enough. It keeps keeps you going, don't you? Because yeah. th this is, like I say, I mean, you've got all the records of the work and everything. This is done, all the hours and everything. Yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dogs getting bored, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's brilliant to see it. I'm glad I stopped to speak to you because I wasn't going to come. I'm glad I just come at this time because I've always wanted to sort of have a close yeah, yeah, yeah. look at it. Those hours, I emphasise that, they're not clock hours, they're these hours All right. that I put in the book every night. Yeah, okay. So like I say, genuine I'll have a look round it, but in a minute, I'll obviously stop the video, but I'll um, I'll just have a quick look and I'll show you a couple of my, my things I've got. Yeah, yeah, I, I shan't let it be too long. No, nah, yeah, I've got, I've got to go, yeah, because I've got stuff to do as well. You know what it is? Just have what you... Yeah, I'll just go round it. You're getting bored, Sumo. You don't like tractors, do you? Oh, be careful. Within a passive tractor. Yes. Did you see it? Right yeah. Right yeah, yeah, I've yeah. seen it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's it amazing. It's a bit triggered green. Though. Hey? It's a bit like triggered green, though. <laughs> yeah, well, they are when they've been there. Yeah, this old, yeah. I've got a combine like it. Have you? Yeah, I've got five old combines. Have you? Yeah, I'm so hopefully selling one of them today. But, lovely.
Yeah, see ya. Well, that was a lovely little experience. I just thought I'd catch the last little bit of it driving away. I was hoping he was going to cut up there, but he didn't. But yeah, really good. I'm glad to come out. Um, just uh, happened to be at the right place at the right time. It's not often that you... Well, I say not often. I mean, I suppose anybody who's got a nice old machine like that, it only makes sense that they want to show people and talk to people. I know I like doing it. Um, obviously, some people are a bit less sort of cooperative for some reason, but there you go. All fun and games. So yeah, no. Yeah, good old boy. I'm glad. Yeah, but I. That is one machine that I've seen about, and I've always been very impressed with. I mean, I remember seeing it years ago and thinking, "Wow, look at that! Really nice to see." And you know, a lot of those hedge cutting tractors they're held together with balers on. But anyway, I'll um probably do another video in a little while. But, um, so yeah, I'm a little bit behind schedule. But there you go. Right, see you later.